Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share with you my next PSA submission. We've got a bunch of parallels, refractors, rookie autos. Let's jump into it. Uh, the first one is going to be something that I think is pretty sought after. This is going to be the Memorial Day camo. Uh, these are numbered to 25. This is Freddie Freeman. Um, again, I think he's a potential Hall of Famer, but really cool to have something numbered like this, number 24 out of 25. Corners look pretty sharp. Beautiful image. Love the camo around the edge. Really nice. Um, next up, this is going to be a Joe Ryan rookie debut, Independence Day. So you can see the Independence Day on this variation is just around the edges, but they do have a couple others that I'll be showing you guys in a second. Uh, this one again, numbered to 76, celebrating our Independence Day. Very cool. Uh, next up, we have a black parallel, Paul Goldschmidt of the 2023 Tops. Um, these are always going to be a little tougher to grade, um, given the corners and any kind of edge wear. They all, all of that is going to show on the black borders here. But um, what I've also noticed is that if you can get one of these in an eight or higher, typically they still hold their value. So that's really cool. This one this year is numbered to 72. Um, I think that number has been changing every year. I believe in 2021, I think it's out of 70. I'd have to double check on that. But this one again, out of 72. There's also a little bit that I've noticed on this one and on the next one, sort of like it's like really dark black here and then sort of like a lighter black up at the top. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on here. You can kind of see it a little bit right there. Um, just be aware of that. I don't know how that would affect the grade. Uh, I do know that it's very common on these. In fact, it's on the next one as well. Sorry, guys. Uh, so the next one is a Tyler Wells, and you can see it on this one as well, right? So it's like a darker black here, sort of like a lighter black up at the top. Um, Tyler Wells having a great year. Probably the best starting pitcher right now on the Baltimore Orioles. Every time I watch this guy, he's, he's going to battle, and he's going to strike out a bunch of guys. The Yankees kind of have his number a little bit right now. At least Judge did, but he's he's injured right now. So let's see how Tyler Wells does. Um, Tyler Wells is also a cousin of a buddy of mine, so I've been collecting these cards quite a bit. All right, next up, something you might not see very often. This is a Manny Machado Memorial Day camo, but in a Dodgers uniform. I don't know how many cards they make of Manny in a Dodgers uniform, so I thought that was pretty cool when I saw this. Um, it does have a little bit of a touch of white there in the top corner. On these, I'm not expecting 10s. I'm expecting sort of like 8s and 9s. Um, but again, I thought this was really cool because I don't know how many cards you're going to see of Manny in a Dodgers uniform. And this is a Memorial Day camo, 4 out of 25. So I thought that was really cool. Um, here's another Independence Day, and you can see how it looks a little bit different, right? So this one, you got the flag in the back. I love the 2018s. I don't have any of the 2018 Independence Days, but it's like really bright and stars all over the place. It's, it's beautiful. Um, but I thought this was really cool. This one's got a little bit of a touch of white on the top left here. Francisco Lindor, 24 out of 76. So that's really cool. Um, next up, Justin Verlander, Memorial Day Camo 2020. This one's got two corners right there. So I'm sort of expecting, you know, like an eight on this, I'm guessing. Um, I'll have to see what it comes back as, but I'm guessing an eight on this one. Um, but again, what I've noticed is even if these come back as eights or nines, because they're numbered so low, they're still going to hold their value. And I think that's really cool. Um, I have one more. And that's going to be the Independence Day, Mookie Betts. Um, I'm expecting an 8 on this one as well. There was a little something on the surface. I think maybe a 9, but definitely that 8, 9 range. Um, this one is 14 out of 76, all right? Um, that's the last of sort of like the, the parallels. But now let's get into some refractors, some rookie autos. I was going through some cards that I had. And I have a Bryce Miller. Bryce Miller's having a good year. I think he's got a 3.88 ERA. He's 5-3 and three right now. Um, interesting stat. Interesting, cool stat. He's got 11 walks and 49 strikeouts as of the time of this video. So this is just a base auto, but again, I just had it. So I figured, why not get it graded? The auto looks pretty clean. Car looks pretty clean. Let's see how it does. Um, this guy's having an 
interesting year. And I say interesting because he kind of got off to a hot start and has cooled down some. But I do think there's a lot of long-term potential because I think the Yankees are just going to keep pushing him. Um, Anthony Volpe, young guy. This is the Mojo Refractor. First Bowman Chrome, not numbered, just the Mojo, but still a really cool card. All right, got another Tyler Wells right here. This one's cool. It is the Orange Sapphire. Number to 25. We'll see how it comes back. I'm guessing 9 or 10. I'm leaning a little bit more 9, but 9 or 10 on this guy. The color match on this is just beautiful, huh? Look at that. That's just really nice. Um, another orange sapphire. There's going to be a Bowman Chrome 2022 orange. This is the uh, out of 75, Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt, man. Let's see if I can throw some stats of his out at you. Um, I think at the time, last time I checked, he had a 60.8 war. Uh, had 328 home runs. A career batting average as of this video at um, 295, I think, on his career. Um, he's a four-time gold glove, seven-time all-star. Definitely going to be talked about uh, in the Hall of Fame uh, conversation. Uh, he's got um, the MVP on him as well from last year. So, yeah, definitely a guy worth collecting. I still don't have any Bowman uh, autos of his yet, but I do plan on acquiring something like that uh, at some point in the future. Have a couple more. Uh, these are all going to be Paul Goldschmidt. I'll just show them all right here. So, first one's going to be the orange, Bowman's Best, 2017, number one out of 25. Then we've got the gold, same year. 35 out of 50, and then this is 2017, I believe. Yeah, 2017 gold tops finest out of 50. So that's going to be a nice way to finish off the submission. So I don't know. I might submit these all together, or I might break it up into two different things. I kind of like keeping these together and keeping these together. This way you got the paper and the chrome. We'll see. Anyway, um, if you guys have made it this far, Please go down, drop a like, drop a submission. Um, really helps the channel out a lot, and I would really appreciate it. Um, also, drop down in the comments which one of these is, you know, your favorite, or maybe if you guys haven't heard of these parallels before, you know, I hope I helped you out on, on, on that one. And, um, yeah, all good. I will see you guys on the next one. Should have some submissions coming back soon. All right, bye, guys.